this is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for August 18th, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Well, it's official. Today marks new Guns N' Roses Day. In the years since Axl Rose, Slash, and Duff rejoined forces in 2016, we've known that there was new music coming. We got Absurd and Hard School last year. Both songs were outtakes from the 2008 album, The Chinese Democracy. Today, the band has released their first song of 2023 called Perhaps. The song is billed as the first song written by the trio in 30 years. Guns N' Roses has been rehearsing the song during soundcheck, and last week it was leaked through Touchtone's jukeboxes. The band is continuing their stadium tour with a rotating list of opening acts, including a show this Monday at Fenway Park in Boston with the Pretenders. Ozzy guitar player Gus G gave an interview recently talking about Ozzy's health. He said, I hope he can get back on track. I don't think he's going to be able to tour again on the scale that he used to, but at least he can do a couple of nice farewell shows, at least a couple one-offs. I think he would really like that, and I think he will because he's the Iron Man. I don't think you can take him off the stage that easily. Gus G was Ozzy's guitar player from 2009 to 2017. A new D.O. box set, the studio albums 96 to 2004, We'll collect the final four albums from the late Ronnie James Dio's band, Dio. The box set is set for release on September 22nd on CD and vinyl formats. It marks the first time all four albums have been housed in one package. Back in 2020, Dio's estate teamed with BMG to reissue each of the aforementioned albums individually. Hum have announced a new vinyl and CD reissue of their four studio albums for December 8th. Polyvinyl Records will be overseeing the re-releases, including Electra 2000, You'd Prefer an Astronaut, Downward is Heavenward, and Inlet. Evanescence guitarist Troy McClawhorn and drummer Will Hunt have joined up with Alice Cooper bassist Chuck Garrick and Granny Four Barrel vocalist Terry Leroy in a new group called Killington Pit. The collective's first single is a cover of Accept's 1983 metal anthem, Balls to the Wall. They've also put their stamp on songs from Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, Rainbow, and more. Troy McClawhorn says, I grew up listening and learning from bands like Accept when I was younger and just started to play the guitar. Balls to the Wall seemed like the right choice because of its popularity and badassness. I really wanted to do the guitars justice, so I stick closely to the original parts with a little more of my flavor on them as well. Biohazard have added to a string of shows with Megadeth this fall, having already been announced for a run due to kick off September 15th. The reunited Biohazard is also opening five additional shows, finishing up on October 5th in Reno. Model and fitness trainer Sam Ashgari has filed for divorce from Britney Spears, bringing their year-long marriage and six-year relationship to an end. Yesterday, it was reported that Ashgari filed for divorce from the pop singer after 14 months of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. Per the court filing on Wednesday in Los Angeles, the couple have been separated for around three weeks. Ashgari confirmed the report, saying, quote, After six years of love and commitment to each other, my wife and I have decided to end our journey together. We will hold on to the love and respect we have for each other, and I wish her the best always. Shit happens. Asking for privacy seems ridiculous, so I will just ask for everyone, including media, to be kind and thoughtful. According to a report from NBC News, the petition filed by Ashgari is seeking spousal support from his estranged wife and that he's, quote, requesting that Spears pay for his legal fees. Bad Wolves have announced the details of their upcoming new album, their fourth full-length album is called Die About It, set for release on November 3rd via Better Noise Music. Nodding to inspirations as diverse as the 1975 and Meshuga, working with trusted collaborator Josh Gilbert from As I Lay Dying, who co-produced the album alongside drummer Josh Becklin and frontman Daniel Laskowitz. Becklin said, quote, We definitely challenged ourselves to experiment, but we maintained a heavier edge. We spent a lot of time making sure these songs weren't all the same, which was important to us. We tried to push the possibilities of what we can do with heavy music. This is as fresh of a start as you can get on your fourth album. 
The band released the first single from the upcoming new album on July 21st, the song titled Bad Friend. Bad Wolves is set to go out on tour across the U.S. this fall with Asking Alexandria, The Who, and 0936. And Green Day are set to celebrate the 30th anniversary of their breakthrough 1994 album Dookie with an expanded box set edition scheduled for release on September 29th. The four CD or six LP vinyl box set will include the original album plus unreleased demos and outtakes and two live recordings from the massive tour in support of the album, their performance at Woodstock that year, and a June 5th show from Barcelona. New releases out today, Aerosmith releasing their greatest hits box set, Atreyu releasing the new EP, The Moment You Find Your Flame, Slipknot releasing the vinyl reissue of their performance live at Madison Square Garden, Sonic Youth releasing live in Brooklyn 2011, and the Talking Heads releasing the deluxe edition of Stop Making Sense. Tonight also marks night number one that Metallica is taking over movie theaters around the world, live streaming the M72 World Tour to movie theaters from Arlington, Texas. Go to Metallica.film to find a participating theater and get tickets for night number one or night number two coming up on Sunday. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 167 featuring Richard Patrick from Filter is available now. The United States Border Patrol has exciting and rewarding career opportunities with the nation's largest law enforcement organization. Earn great pay, outstanding federal benefits, and up to $20,000 in recruitment incentives. Learn more online at cbp.gov careers usbp.